Hello and welcome back to North East Nostalgic. Today we're walking along the high level bridge in Newcastle upon Tyne, considered to be the most notable historical engineering work in the city. Designed by Robert Stevenson to form a rail link between Scotland and the new English railway network, the bridge was intended to be a carriageway for rail, road and pedestrians across the River Tyne. The construction of the high level bridge was a sign of railway mania that was steaming its way literally up the country, with the need for railway bridges almost doubling. So how did the idea of the higher level bridge come about? Previous proposals for road and rail crossing bridges had been put forward since the 18th century. However, it seems that the idea for the high level bridge came about at the right place and right time. A high level bridge was needed to avoid steep climbs on the Tyne Gorge and the proposal for the double decker bridge for the York, Newcastle and Berwick Railway was accepted by Newcastle Council. Renowned railway engineer Robert Stevenson created a double decker structure design that would be used for both rail and road. I love how canny these padlocks are and I wonder if the couples are still together. So how was the high level bridge constructed? Construction began on the bridge in 1846, with the foundations for the masonry piers being laid. The masonry arches were built next, followed by the ironwork. Poor ground conditions in the river time ruled out an all masonry structure, so cast iron was the material of choice for the superstructure. A tied arch design was favoured, featuring arches of cast iron that towered above the river. The real deck was supported with cast iron columns, rising from the main ribs of the structure of the bridge. In total, over 5,050 tonnes of iron was used on the double-decker bridge. Did you know that one-fifth of the iron used on the bridge came from Bellingham Ironworks on the North Tyne? When did the high-level bridge open? The High Level Bridge was opened in September 1849 by Queen Victoria. There seems to have been no formal ceremony, with the simple halting of a train on the bridge being the grand opening. The road bridge and its approach roads didn't come into use for another year, and then tolls were charged of a penny for entry across the bridge by foot or road. With the opening of the new and free Tyne Bridge in 1928, Tolls were abolished on the High Level Bridge in 1937. So what's the future like for the High Level Bridge? The High Level Bridge's rail deck was reduced to two tracks as part of the electric East Coast main line in the 1980s, with the roadway now being limited to only buses and taxis, due to the weight limits. Pedestrians and cyclists are free to go across both sides of the bridge, taking in the magnificent views of Newcastle Quayside. I hadn't walked across this bridge before, so I didn't know what to expect, but it was a great walk to Gateshead and back, and I finally spotted where the bloggers take their Instagram pictures. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more from me in the future, for all things North East England history.